This is us the Goldberg from That's Entertainment, bringing you all the showbiz schmooze and weird ass news you just might have missed. And what a week it was! It's Fame Whores on Steroids Week! American Idol crowned Scotty McCreary as this year's winner. The baby locked them doors and turned the light down low, kid. I I just love saying that. Baby lock them doors. <laughs> he was voted to the top of the heap by millions of moist tween girls and a few horny gay guys, I'm sure. And by one middle-aged cougar bitch. I buy a few. Happy at least 500 times. 500. Woo! Woo! To AT&T! Woo! Woo! <laughs> oh, <laughs> is crazy. <laughs> Oprah's gone, the clouds parted, the angels sang, and harps strummed all over Chicago as Miss Afternoon Delight closed her show after 25 years. Now, anyone with any scruples knows her own network is in trouble. The highest rated show is, duh, Oprah behind the scenes, so expect a three-month vacation, a tour of hometown buffets, and this thing's ass back on the air in a newly reformatted talk show. <laughs> Kim Kardashian is engaged. The vagina that keeps on giving got herself a $2 million rock from her boyfriend, Chris Humphreys. So expect non-stop coverage of wedding plans and a vagina cam for the honeymoon. You know, and a reality series to follow called Poked with the Kardashians. Oh. Mark your calendars for October 21st. That's the new date the Batshiz Crazy Harold Camping says the world will end. His born-again slide ruler was off and he says this time he got it right. The last one was invisible. Yeah, like the invisible people whose asses got sucked up to heaven. <gasps> Gasp! Justin Bieber shirtless in Hawaii and sucking face with the former Disney tart Selena Gomez. It's a pedophile's wet dream as the two took their public displays of affection to a new level. And you know they wanted to be seen, so the Biebs could let the world know he's gone through puberty and he's not a lesbian. I mean, think about it. With all their money, they could have gone to a private place. But no, he had to prove something. His testicles is dropped. <laughs> I just want to hurl. Hurl! Here's the story of a slutty lady. Guess what? Adrian Curry and Christopher Knight have called it quits after five years of marriage. Like we didn't see this coming. You know her. She gives Ice T's Coco a run for her money and posting pics of her titties and ass. And he is Peter Brady. And 50% of everything has gone out the window if they don't have a prenup. Ah. And finally, lipstick on a hog. The witch from Fasella Fris Rosella says she's got fire in her belly. In reality, she needs to make more money, buy more houses, pull the red and pretend she's going to run for president so she can be relevant again. Yeah! Michelle Bachman and Donald Trump have stolen her thunder and she needs to be back in the news. So what does she do? She hopped on a hog, painted a bus, dragged the smart kid, the dumb kid, the fat kid, and the husband to do some kind of tour, knowing the lamestream media will follow her every word. Meantime, there are still young men and women dying in two senseless wars. Cover that mainstream mainstream media instead of this freaking publicity whore that you seem to be obsessed with. That's Mr. David. This is Dr. Goldberg, and I'll see you next time. You think I pissed off some people this week? I do. I think I did. And now, guess what? This may be water, but my ass is off to a party, a Memorial Day party. Yeah.